What is going on everyone? So in this video, I want to show you guys how to quickly replace the uh, shifter lever hoods um, on your bike. So I was changing the handlebar, I was doing an upgrade of the handlebar on my uh, Lightspeed Sienna uh, titanium bike. Uh, I got the aero bar and I got shifter hoods installed, I got all the cables ready. Uh, but then while trying to adjust the, the, the shifter, one of the hood just split from the bottom and totally got destroyed. So, I mean, it still kind of works because it's still got the tabs inside to grab onto the shifter lever. However, when I'm doing like a ride and I'm trying to pull the shifter lever, the thing just came off. Okay, so really when, when your hood is split, it's time to get the new ones. Now, I bought those pairs in my local bike shop it's actually much cheaper to get them at the bike shop. It's $22 plus tax um, for a set of brand new SRAM hoods. Those hoods work for all the 22 speed um, levers. I mean the, the shifter levers. So <clears throat> this one had the texture. They have another version, I think the 10A or something that doesn't have the texture. It might fit, fit some other levers, maybe the ETAP, maybe. Now, this one, it's still in good working condition, uh, but I am gonna just replace both hoods as a, as a whole. And this one is actually starts to disintegrate because I bought this bike used, and I believe this hood has gone through a couple of other miles because from the feel and from the wear of the hood, it looks like it's being used quite a lot. Okay, so time to get new ones. And to take those hoods out, you really, the only way is to use brute force and if you apply some alcohol <coughs> now I don't have the alcohol laying around I just have some like lens cleaner kind of works the same way they dry out pretty quick when you spray it on there so I'm going to try to get this area kind of wet and then I'm going to try to just push the hood from the top part out and fingers crossed hopefully it works what I can do also is to just cut it if I'm putting a new one on, um, but I want to actually do it myself so I can feel it. You see, I pried it up a little bit and then I just pulled like this and it all came off. With the, <clears throat> with a little like uh, alcohol or like any kind of things that evaporates quick and doesn't damage plastic, you should be able to remove the hoods really easy. Now, if you look over here, this one is worn too. So eventually, <coughs> Excuse me, eventually it's gonna go bad, okay? Now we have the new hood. Compare, looks to be the exact same shape. So the new hood, when you get it, it's not gonna be very pliable. So that's why I have a, um, a hand dryer, hair dryer over here. I am just gonna heat it up in low heat. And once it gets soft and pliable, <coughs> I'll put the hood on there by spraying some um, uh, alcohol, whatever, that evaporates and doesn't damage the rubber and plastic, and it should go on fairly easily, okay? So get it soft first. All right, it's pretty nice and soft now, like very soft. I'm just gonna spray some of the my add-on, magic add-on. And once it's wet, all I'm gonna do, put it here and then use some brute force, try to get it up to the top and then over. Hopefully that little slippery thing would help. As evident, it's actually working perfectly fine. So now you've got the one side installed and you're just gonna work your way kinda down there, get all the tabs into correct place. They might not fit, you know, it, the exact same way as your old one, but eventually they should, uh, they should fit, you know, quite nicely, eventually. 
It just needs some time to get itself settled into the shape of your shifter, okay? <clears throat> So there you go. So one installed and we have another one to go. So this one at the bottom, there's a little bump. I'm gonna try to figure out why the bump didn't lock in. It should, which, oh, just did. Yeah, so a little hex wrench helps quite a lot. So one side is done, and uh, we're gonna just do the other side. It's pretty much the same thing. Make sure I'm grabbing the new one. <clears throat> Heat it up a little. Oh, and also make sure the logo is facing outside because it's directional, okay? So logo facing outside, and this one, same thing, logo facing outside. Almost. And last thing is that little bump on the bottom. Very tricky, but doable. Right there, right there. <coughs> so this is how you replace the hood. Uh, plan and simple, just a little brute force and you should be good to go. So the tip is, or the, my tip is, use a little hair dryer to get it nice and soft. Um, and once it's soft, you apply some of the thing that helps lubricate and help glide the, the hood over. Use alcohol, it's the safest uh, bet because alcohol dries out and doesn't really damage the parts. Um, but I use my lens cleaner, which is, uh, I don't know what's made of, but it's kind of the same thing, it dries out pretty quickly, okay? So there you have it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. Otherwise, I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please do hit the like button or subscribe, and I should have more similar cycling-related videos coming out for you guys, okay? Thanks again, and uh, take care.